Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first uh, Brown Dust 2 video and actually my first video in YouTube and I hope that I can do a good job for you guys and help you with this guide. This is going to be a guide on how to complete your crafting from beginner to legendary in no more than two or three days of work. So this is going to be something really easy and this is going to be something that is going to help you to improve your characters a lot in Brown Dust 2. So um, let's start guys with the preparations and for the preparations something that we need is just the characters that we're going to be using for crafting. We are going to be using Scheherazade which is a free character that you get by clearing the second story pack and we are going to be needing Lila because she is the one crafter that is able to get all the way up to Legendary. She is a gacha character, so you will need to pull for her or you will need to recruit her in the pub. So, the options are there. It's actually not something impossible to get and crafting is actually not something that you really need to clear the story for the first time. Um, so, you, you will have enough time to get Lila and to uh, start crafting with her. So that's the preparation characters. Now, the second thing that we actually need is the materials, right? The most important thing, materials. There are two ways to get materials in this game that would allow you to level up your, cra your crafting um, really, really fast. And the first way is just to come here to the Season Pass. And all you do is that once you are in the season pass, you need to come here, check the missions. And there is a mission that says that you need to battle in the hunting ground. And by doing this, you get these two boxes and inside these boxes, you get crafting materials. So this is one of the ways. This is not the perfect way, the perfect way. And it would take you like forever if you are only relying on doing this to complete your crafting. And but don't worry, there is a better way to get materials, and it's very simple. You just come to any city, you talk to the NPCs that are that you are able to talk to, and you can <laughs> steal from them. You should be stealing from them using either Bernie or Andrew. Never use this girl because she only steals food, and it's definitely not going to be good for you because you're going to be spending your, your ability pills, and these ones are really important. So guys, make sure that you're using a uh, Bernie or Andrew. I'm going to be showing you what happens when you steal from the NPC. Example, if I succeed here, right? I'm on legendary, so I'm hoping it succeeds. Okay, great. There you go. So I got 50 P, which is a lot. I mean, 50 per NPC, taking in consideration that you can steal each NPC two times and that there are many NPCs in each city. You can just come to the map here and you can see these little happy faces and all these guys are NPCs that you can steal from. You can steal from, from the pub owner, you can steal from, from the um, inn owner and the shop owner, but they only give gold. So I don't recommend uh, stealing from them because you may say that gold is good, right? And that is going to be really important, but you are going to be spending a lot of ability pills and if you spend your ability pills just trying to get gold, at the end of the day, you will have to buy more ability pills and you will be getting nothing from, from those um, NPCs at the, at the end of the day. So avoid that. Just focus on stealing on the NPCs for, to get in the materials. So perfectly fine, guys. Uh, believe me, just by doing this in all the maps, you should be able to complete your crafting in two or three days just stealing from all the NPCs every day. So, the third part of this guy is going to be what to craft. So, what should we craft? All we have to do is just come down here, where is the icon to go to the abilities of the characters. And what we're going to do is just select our crafter, which is in this case is Lila. And at the start of the game, you will only have option to craft like these three or four things, if I'm not mistaken, like only these four things, right? So all you do is again, you go complete the hunting grounds in the first map, which is super easy, right? You do it 15 time, get the, the bots that give you the 200 materials and you use those materials to craft these ones. It doesn't matter which one you craft, you scratch, but just craft these ones until you are able to get to the first level of crafting, right? Once you level up crafting the first time, 
then you unlock these other things and all you have to do once you have unlocked the other things is that from then on you will only be crafting this the necklace why because the necklace uh give you two experience per necklace that you craft and the materials that you need the, need for them are really easy to get as you can see i have three thousand of this one and four thousand of this one so you are going to be needing to craft approximately 600 of these ones. So, in essence, you are going to be needing around 3,000 ability pills. And you are going to be needing uh, 2,400 of each of these materials. Again, you may say, oh yeah, 2,000 is a lot. But don't worry, by stealing from the NPCs, you definitely can get a lot of these materials i think that you can get at least a thousand of each of these materials just by stealing all the npcs so this is definitely going to get you all the way up to um legendary crafting just farming just crafting this and that's it uh just make sure that when you are crafting whenever you get to 100 percent experience make sure that you are ranking up the ability because if you continue crafting when you are already at 100 percent you are going to be losing all of that experience so make sure that you're paying attention to that just check in every time that you craft something it shows you the bar of the experience bar and all you have to do is just make sure that you are um seeing right there when you are getting close to the max level so that you don't end up crafting more than what you actually need so what else should you be crafting once you have unlocked the blue gear it is recommended that you actually craft one piece of blue gear for each of the characters that you are currently using and even a few more for like two or three more characters that you may situationally need to complete the story. This is the gear that you are going to be sticking to for a very long time. It is really good. It can get you to really, really good stats. So I recommend you craft this whenever you have this available and this is when you are going to start using alchemy because now these materials are going to be needing the advanced version of the basic materials and alchemy will be used to get these materials right to convert convert the basic materials into advanced materials and then craft the blue gear um purple gear I don't recommend crafting any purple gear. This is a bait. This is something that is just going to make you waste your, your materials. Just for just to show you guys, you can see here for my characters, they have blue gear still. Yes, I have some rainbow and purple gear, right? But most of my characters are just equipped with uh, purple gear. Uh, sorry, blue gear, right? And it is more than enough. To get, to get you to amazing stats, like for example, you can see here, 37% crit rate, 170% uh, crit damage, yeah, and this is all coming, of course, from the weapon, right, the crit damage is coming from the weapon, uh, but the crit rate is all coming from these little blue pieces. So it is definitely possible to get your characters to a decent level with blue gear. Why do I say that purple gear is a bait? It is because of this, guys. If you see this, you will need these two materials, which are the advanced, the most advanced version of these materials, right? This is the, the advanced version of coal, and this is the advanced version of the wood material. So you need five and five to craft these SR purple weapon, that has flat attack and that has random type here so you don't even know what you're going to get you don't even know if it is going to be good or if it is going to be bad so instead of doing that why don't you come directly here and then you just farm you just create this you see the other one was five and this one needs seven and you only need two of these and five of these these two materials are actually the hard ones to get but i'm going to be giving you the information on where to get those materials and then now guys we get to the last part of this video which is where to get the end game materials 
let's start with this one. Platinum ingots. Platinum ingots are something that you can get by using alchemy. And all you have to do is just convert your gold ore into gold ingots. And then with 10 gold ingots, you can uh, craft um, one platinum ingot. So in essence, you need 200 gold ore to be able to craft two platinum ingot. Sadly, guys, getting gold ore is really hard. The best place to get gold ore is to come to the uh, story pack 7 and complete the story path 7 here in hard. I mean, if you are not able to complete it in hard because you have not cleared hard content yet, then complete it in normal because it's the best place that you have to get the gold ore and to be able to craft the uh, rainbow gear. So, that's where you can get the um, platinum ingots. Now, the last material that we need, which is the um, ancient crystals. So, for ancient crystals, there are two ways to get ancient crystals. The first way is to get lucky. <laughs> yes, guys, you will need to get lucky. Uh, the first way is this. Whenever you get a character to plus five, you get 20 ancient crystals. So this is one of the ways that you have to create to get the ancient crystals, right? And the other way that you have is in the chop, right? Once you have a pool for a lot of characters, you should be able to get this golden thread. And you can use the golden thread to buy 30 ancient crystals a month, which is definitely going to be um, helping you to craft like six pieces of rainbow gear every month. So those are the main ways that you have to um, get ancient crystals the other ways that we have is actually just to come to pvp and the evil castle whenever the season ends for the pvp and the evil castle you get additional uh, ancient crystals that you can use again to um create the rainbow gear so that's all you need to know guys that's everything that you need to know about crafting where to get the materials what mistakes to avoid and uh, where to get everything necessary to complete this, which should not take you more than two or three days of work. I hope that this was um, helpful for you guys, and uh, I will be making more videos like this. Peace.